Today I'm going to show you four neck exercises that are going to reduce tension in the neck, tone the neck muscles, and it will also help to get rid of that double chin and what we call turkey neck. And if you do these exercises that I'm going to show you on a regular basis, then you're going to see a massive improvement very quickly. So save this video to come back to later and do those exercises with me again and again. So apart from the muscles in the neck, we also have this layer of fascia under here. Now we have two layers. We have a superficial layer and we have a deeper layer of fascia. And that fascia is similar to muscle in that it can contract and it can also sag as well. And over time, gravity will pull down and drag on that skin. But one of the main culprits of that pull down and drag is your head posture when you're spending a long time either on your phone, looking down, or at your laptop, and your head and neck posture start to gravitate towards that laptop. And the head drops down, and we get that sagging of the skin under the neck. So we're going to tone these neck muscles, and we're going to target the three areas the muscles that are responsible for head flexion, that's nodding your chin down, chin movement, and jaw movement. We're gonna look at toning those muscles that make all those movements possible, and we're gonna tighten up that skin and take that tension out of the neck. The first exercise, we're gonna strengthen and tone the muscles that open the jaw. So you're gonna follow me in this next exercise. We're gonna open and close the jaw as wide as we can, keeping a little bit of tension on the jaw when we open it and when we close it. So I want you to open the jaw as wide as you can, almost like you're screaming, and then close the jaw without jamming the teeth together. This is going to strengthen the muscles that draw the jaw down when you open your mouth. The second exercise we're going to do almost looks like a grimace or a frown, and it activates the superficial fascia underneath the jaw. And it's like we're smiling but pulling the corners of the mouth down. You're going to begin to feel this exercise right underneath the jawline where the tongue sits, either side of the tongue. And again, we're going to do this exercise for about 30 seconds. Now, the third exercise is going to be where we're going to tip the head back and we're going to jut the chin forward slightly. This is gonna give you a deep fascial stretch, but what's gonna make it even more dynamic is we're going to turn the head slightly left and right. When we jut that jaw forward and we turn to the left, you're gonna feel that deep stretch underneath the jaw and down that opposite side of the neck and vice versa on the other side. So let's go ahead and do that third stretch. We're going to tilt the head back. You're going to jut the chin forward until you feel that stretch underneath the chin and down either side of the throat. Follow with this exercise for about 30 seconds. So that third exercise helped to stretch and elongate the neck here, both the muscles and the fascia, which is gonna help us do the next exercise where we're gonna lay back and we're gonna use your own head as the body weight to bring the head forward and strengthen this entire network of muscles here, which is gonna help lift and tone that neck. So you're gonna lay back on your bed. I'm gonna take the head back as far as we can comfortably take it. And then we're gonna slowly bring the head forward, pressing your chin down towards your chest to contract those neck muscles. And we're not gonna let the head just flop back. You're gonna control the head moving back 
and then we're going to bring it forward again. I'm going to keep that movement going. And it won't take long before you really start to feel that ache in those neck muscles. So those four neck toning exercises, you can easily do yourself at home. You don't need any special equipment to do it. And the more often you do it, the better. So you wanna aim for maybe two or three times a week. And I want you to drop a comment below and let me know how you're getting on with that exercise, if you've noticed any differences, and also how quickly you've noticed any differences. So save this video, give it a like, and then come back and try it again in a couple of days time.